Welcome to Alivix. Alivix is an open source visual monitoring tool. It steps through an application interface with human-like behavior, allowing you to check that measures like response time are within expectations. You show Alivix how to interact with an interface by defining visual elements and actions using Alivix Editor. It might be clicking a button, entering text in a field, or choosing from a dropdown. Then you repeat this for the next interaction steps, creating a chain of scriptable application interactions that mirrors your workflow, including conditionals and loops. At each step, Alivix measures the latency between transitions. Once you've defined your test case in Alivix Editor, you're ready to check that your system is up and running at all times by testing it at regular intervals. You've now implemented visual monitoring and can use Alivix Robot to repeatedly run your test case at your chosen frequency. You can then send the measurements to your favorite monitoring program for detailed visualization and trend analysis. Let's walk very quickly through the steps you'd need to do just to get the flavor of working with Alivix. Later, we'll look at each step in more detail. Our task is to navigate a series of web pages on a tourism website as if we were searching for a hotel. We'll show Alivix which buttons to press, where to find them, and how to type in some values. When you work with Alivix, you build a series of tests that each try to match what is displayed in the interface, and then script a corresponding mouse or keyboard interaction to carry out when it does find a match. A typical Alivix workflow takes you back and forth between the application interface and Alivix's interface as you build up a series of tests together with a script that tells Alivix the order that the tests should occur in. Building a test starts by selecting regions you can see here as red boxes. Each one can be used as part of the matching test to interact with or both. Interactions include filling in fields, scrolling panels, and pressing buttons. Once the regions are selected, you can fine-tune the details, set the measurement parameters, and then run the new test against the application interface to be sure it works. You repeat this process over and over until you reach the end. When you're done, you can try out the entire test case with a touch of a button, and then go on to create as many of these test cases as you want, one for each use case your application needs. So that was the Whirlwind Tour of Alivix. Two things should be clear, though. When creating a test case, you repeatedly build a series of matches and interactions through the interface, and then you measure the entire test case as Alivix follows those steps one by one. Now let's look at these steps in more detail. For each step, we need to add a screen capture, and then show Alivix where the main anchor is. Here I'm selecting an image for the anchor by drawing a box around it, and then indicating the button I want to click on. Now it's time to show Alivix what to do with that button. Here it's easy, I just have to say it's a button and to click on it. Since I know I'm going to have multiple steps, I want to give each one a meaningful name and make sure that Alivix runs each step in the right order. And how do I know that step works? I test it right away on the interface to see if it clicks that button. It did work, so now I can go on to the next step. I select an anchor for this step too, and then I show Alivix a search box where I want to filter the list of hotels with a search term. So I tell Alivix it's a text box to click on it and then to enter a string in that box. That string will be the search term when we're ready to initiate the search. But first, this website wants to apply specific search criteria, so we need to build an intermediate step to select the first one it proposes. As before, we need to create an anchor, but now we need to first find the search box again and then click on the first cell in the dropdown below that box. How can we do that? We set the clicking point to be outside the box we just made by using the set point command, and then indicate where the click should be relative to the origin. As before, we'll give this interaction a meaningful name, add it to the scripting panel above, and then test it to make sure it works. Alivix did find the dropdown and click on the first element, so now we can go on with the search request. So we just set a value with the drop-down element, but that didn't move the web browser to a new page. We need to click on the search button to do that. So we create a new object which looks for the search button and clicks on it. After we add that to our script and test it, Alivix will click on the search button, and the browser should then load and show the page with the filtered search results. So we create another object with our anchor, 
and then check for an element that will only be present if the results displayed properly. We'll tell Alavix what text to look for and then expand the region of interest so we'll look for that text anywhere in the bigger box. We then give the test case object a regular expression to check the scraped text, where the regex is initialized with the text in the inner box. If it can't find matchable text anywhere within the outer loop, then the test case script will fail and we'll see an error message. We can now run the entire script at once. You can see each of the interactions we scripted and the timing results when it's done. If any part of the script fails, Alavix will tell either us or a monitoring application where and why it happened. You've made it all the way through this video, and so you saw how you can build a test case where Alavix matches and interacts with an application's interface, testing it step by step as you go, and then test the entire scripted interaction at once. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to get in touch with us.